what is a home appraisal, when is it needed, and what exactly is it based on? That's what we're talking about today, so stick around. Hi, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Samantha Perlman and I'm a realtor located in central New Jersey. Every week I post videos about what it's like to live and work here and guidance on buying, selling, and investing in the area. If this is something that interests you, go ahead and consider hitting that subscribe button below and don't forget to hit the bell so that you're notified of the new videos I release every Monday. In this week's video, we're talking about all about the home appraisal. What is the home appraisal? When would you need to get a home appraisal? And what exactly is the home appraisal based on? Want to know exactly how long an appraisal sticks with a property? Well, stay tuned till the end to find out. Now, what exactly is a home appraisal? A home appraisal is when a licensed home appraiser is going to come out to your property and do a thorough inspection of the property. They're going to be looking at all of the details about the property and how they compare to the market. What they're trying to do is determine a true fair market value for the property. The licensed appraiser will put together an appraisal report once they're finished with all of their findings. Now let's talk about the five different situations when a home appraisal would be needed. Number one, if you're a buyer and you're getting financing on the property, your lender's going to require a home appraisal to be done. Number two, if you're a homeowner and you're looking to refinance, whichever bank or lender you're using for the refinancing is going to require a home appraisal to be done. Number three, if you're a homeowner and you're looking to get a home equity loan, well then you're also gonna need an appraisal to see how much equity is actually available in the property. Number four, if you're a homeowner and you're looking to get another type of loan, such as a business loan, but you're gonna be using your home as collateral, you're gonna need a home appraisal done to know the fair market value for your property. And the last situation where a home appraisal might be needed is if you're a homeowner and you're thinking about selling and you wanna get an idea of what the fair market value is on the home, you can consider getting an appraisal now before you go on the market. Now let's talk about what is a home appraisal based on. A home appraiser is gonna consider all the details and aspects of a home that's going to affect the value. What is the overall condition of this home as compared to all of the other comparable homes? Have there been any upgrades or additions made to the property recently? They're going to take photos to note all of the condition both inside and outside of the property. They're going to measure everything to make sure they have the correct square footage of both the house and the lot. Sometimes the home appraisal will actually pull the tax record to confirm this information. And they're also going to take into consideration the market conditions of the neighborhood, the town, the county, and the state in which the property is located. Now, once the appraiser is done with their inspection of the property, they're going to compile everything into a report, like I said earlier. Now, if you've ordered a home appraisal, once you get your report, make sure to look over it. It's very, very detailed. They're going to give you a fair market price for the home. This may not be the list price or the contract price. This is a third party objective opinion from the licensed appraiser. They're actually going to give you an actual cost appraisal as well, meaning if the entire structure burnt to the ground tomorrow and you had to rebuild it, how much would it cost? An appraisal report is also going to note conditions of the property. So for example, if you're getting an FHA or a VA loan, there's other conditional things about the property that that appraiser is trained to look for. Um, things like peeling paint or safety features. So if any of those things need to be called out by the appraiser for those specific financing situations, they'll do that on the report as well. Now you might be asking yourself, well, how long is an appraisal really good for? Most banks and lending institutions won't actually entertain any appraisal older than six months because the real estate market is ever changing and it could really be a drastic difference from six months ago to today to what your home might be worth. It's important to know if you're a seller that has an FHA or VA buyer where the appraisal came in low and you weren't able to come to terms and had to part ways that the VA and FHA appraisal actually does stay with the property for a certain amount of time. Therefore, if you go under contract right away with another FHA or VA buyer, there's a chance that that appraiser is going to pull the old report and it could under appraise again. Just for your reference, an FHA appraisal will stick with the property for 120 days or four months. A VA appraisal will stick with the property for six months. Stay tuned on my YouTube channel for future videos where we're going to talk about what do you do and what are your options if the home appraisal comes in too low. And if you're a seller, what can you do to get your home prepared now to maximize your appraised value? If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and say hello in the comment section below. If you haven't already done so, consider hitting that subscribe button and the bell so that you don't miss the videos I release every week. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you found this information helpful. You know, my goal is to make the content that you're looking for. So if you have an idea for a future video, go ahead and leave it in the comment section below. I'll see you next week.